is, is the, uh, in your question, you, you contain the uh, statement that sable trails are not going to, are not planning to use blast and put insulation in pipeline. Is that a matter that's uh, in the record already? Um, it might be in the ERP application, but we'll have testimony. Okay. So at this point, it's, it's not necessarily a fact in evidence. Yes, Your Honor. All right, call your next witness, please. Guyanese. Sir. I'm a geologist. And are you employed by anyone or are you a subcontractor? I'm employed by the state of Florida. And which department of agency do you work for? I work for the Florida Geological Survey, which is a department within the Department of Environmental Protection. And how long have you been with uh, FGS? Um, I have been there in a full-time capacity for 15 years, and prior to that, I was there for I exactly, but a number of years in an OPS capacity. And you say you're a geologist. Are you a certified <coughs> geologist? I am a licensed professional geologist. And when was that license obtained? Was it updated? What was that updated? Uh, oh boy. Um, <laughs> I don't remember exactly. Was it? Um, but I've had it for the, the number is twenty three fifty eight. So. Um, was it um, obtained before or <coughs> during your appointment with the state of Florida? During. Aside from working as a geologist for the state of Florida, have you ever worked for a geologist with any? Um, private company as an employee? No. How about as a contractor? Mm, not to my knowledge. No. Is it correct to say then that all of your uh, compensated work as a geologist has been for the state of Florida? That's correct. Uh, aside from maybe a couple of teaching things. So to the best of my recollection. Right. A couple of things you did on the side. Thank you. Did you participate in review of the application submitted by Sable Trail for the proposed pipeline to the state of Florida? I did. Is there any reference in that application to the use of explosives? explosives? To the best of my recollection in the initial documents we saw there was reference to the potential for blasting should the need occur to the best of my recollection okay. in reviewing the application um, you uh, so that it includes a 36-inch diameter pipe and a 24-inch pipe, correct? Yeah. Right. Have you reviewed any other applications that made use of a 36-inch pipe in Suwannee County? No. How about Hamilton County? No. Gilchrist County? No. Alachua County? No. What is the largest size natural gas pipeline you've reviewed prior to Sable Trails? I've never reviewed a gas pipeline proposal before. Oh, it's your first natural gas pipeline? That's correct. What's your, um, uh, why is that? Why did this come to you if uh, you haven't done the ones in the past, if you know? I, I don't know the answer to that. All right, so who, who so is Essentially on? because I, I may not have been in the, in the appropriate position within our organization to do so. Right. Did you have a, a position change recently? I have over the last five years, yes. 
from, what was the last um, change? Um, I was promoted to um, a professional geologist administrator. I'm a professional geologist supervisor. And when did that occur? I don't remember specifically, but within the last three to five years. So, what type of um, review, application review, or do you, have you done other application reviews besides this one for um, FGS? What exactly do you mean by application reviews? Well, uh, let, let's say an application submitted to the department and they assign it out to different members of the agency for different input. Have, have you participated? Uh, what would have you participated in that process before? We have participated in processes where we evaluate geological aspects to all kinds of things that are submitted to the department. So, yes. Okay. All kinds of things, but this is the first natural gas pipeline. That's correct. All right. Um, in that category of all kinds of things, is there anything more prominent than others? Um, I'd say landfill applications have become prominent. Um, an occasional um, large development. Um, if it was a development of regional impact, BRI, um, you might have been asked to comment. Um, if it had something to do with groundwater and springs, you might have been asked to comment. How big is your department? Um, a number of uh, full-time employees, let's say. I think we've got 28 full-time employees now, 28 to 30. And we also have a number of OPS. Right. And which office do you work out of? Um, currently, we work out of 3,000 <coughs> Boulevard. Tallahassee. That's correct. Is, does FGS have any uh, regional offices? Well, we have another facility, which is our core repository, but it's just down the street and it's also in Tallahassee. Right. But we, other than that, we do not. Thank you. So, Ask you sort of look at what's been more just petitioners five saying. It's a uh, letter with a memorandum attached to it. this letter or this memorandum before? Yes. Did you see it in the course of your review of the stable trail application? Hmm. In the 
not specifically during the course of, the, of our review, but I have seen it before. Do you recall when you saw it? I do not recall. Top of my head, specifically when I did. Do you know if you um, would it be correct to say then, since you did not see it in the course of your review, you did not uh, rely on it in any way? Did I rely on it? Yes, sir. No, sir. Well, for what? Um, any purpose? I'm sorry. Any purpose? Uh, no, not, not to my knowledge. All right, then I don't want to ask any questions about that document. Uh, would you agree or disagree that the um, portions of the proposed route for the Sable Pit Trail Pipeline pass through uh, shallow cars? Yes, I agree. Would you uh, agree or disagree that there is extensively developed cavernous porosity in that area as well? In some parts of that area, yes, I would agree. Uh, can you generally describe which, which parts, if you can, uh, let's say, broadly by county? Uh, not without a map or, or something to, to relay it. I mean, I don't remember specifically the exact pipeline route, the proposed pipeline route. Um, that's all right. I'll uh, ask a little further than um, Would you disagree or disagree that the presence of shallow caves may be insufficient to support the uh, proposed installation of the pipe? Uh, Objection and relevance and also calls for an expert opinion. This is, uh, this witness is listed as a fact witness. Um, well, we, we, uh, we don't call for this witness as an expert, Your Honor, except to the extent that he relies on uh, his agency's protocol. I don't really know what that means, but uh, <laughs> I, it's, it's hard for me to believe you're going to get much useful testimony out of this witness unless he's recognized as an expert. Um, well, let's get that's what he is. He's an expert geologist. Um, but, uh, why, why was there this uh, problem with identifying witnesses in the exhibit list? Not showing them as experts when they were experts. I, I think uh, the, the pro se petitioner did the best they, they could under the uh, summary proceeding deadlines. And, um, it's a perfect. I'm going to allow this witness to be uh, deposed as an expert. Your Honor, we, we would just like to state our objection on the record. Uh, this witness has not been call, called by the department. Um, it's unfair surprise to the department for him to be allowed to give expert testimony in this case. And furthermore, puts the witness in an extremely awkward position of being asked to give expert testimony against his employer. Um, the Fourth <coughs> District Court of Appeal case in Jordan X. Rel. Why would it be against well, because it's his being asked questions by the other side. He can't be forced to give expert testimony for someone who's challenging the project. He's an, he's an employee of the department who issues the permit. And I don't understand that part of it. Uh, what else you got? There's a, according to the case of Jordan X. Ray <coughs> B. Masters, that's Fourth District Court of Appeal case from 2002, can be found at 821 SO2D 342. And I quote, although the credibility of a witness is always an issue, we do not interpret this so broadly as to permit a party to call an opposing party's expert whom the opposing party did not call solely for the purpose of discrediting him. Uh, so this is a fact witness. They can't call him to give expert testimony to discredit the determinations that have been made by the department or by his office. Uh, that's clear case law, Your Honor, and it's inappropriate to require this. Discredit him. And he made recommendations to the department, and the department issued this permit. So if they're going to ask him expert questions in support of their case, that would be to discredit the determinations that his office made and that he made personally. I don't see how you make that leap. Uh, there are certain kinds of questions that tend to uh, 
seek to discredit a witness, but not every question seeks to discredit a witness. I don't understand how this witness can be forced to give expert testimony by the other side. Uh, I think it's inappropriate under Florida law. We object. Do you have that case? Do you have that case for us to Yes, this is uh, the Jordan X. Rel. Sheely v. Masters is at 821 S.O. 2. It was a copy. Can actually look at it? I, I can obtain a copy, um, but I don't have it handy. Oh, I didn't bring my laptop. I can provide you an electronic copy to the all the parties. Uh, you can send it to my to my phone. And uh, and I would send it to the other parties' attorneys as well. That's what your honor prefers. Yeah, let me take a look at it. I'm curious about it. Uh, we're going to take a five-minute break. And, uh,